Israel Allen here, PTA Global, talking about the six-figure trainer schedule. That's right. It doesn't start with talent. It doesn't even start with marketing. It starts with the commitment to the right days, times, and what you're doing in those times, the schedule, right? So if you are the right person and you're delivering the right value, Part of value is also when you're available for your customers. So this industry, we work when other people don't. Let me repeat that. We work when other people don't. So part of wanting to do your very best is stretching yourself in areas that you're uncomfortable with. So for instance, if you're not a early morning riser, well, guess what? A lot of your clientele, they work eight to five. And so they're wanting to get their workouts in before, day, before 8 a.m. So if you can't be available for them, you are going to limit yourself and your income potential and your impact potential. So what is it? Six-figure trainer schedule. You can find this in your PTA Global Fast Track, right? Where we really talk about the days and times that are going to be the most impactful and what specifically you should be doing during that time. So if you'll look at your best of the best personal training schedule, you'll see from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. When I was a personal trainer, I started at 5 a.m., but not everybody is, is a super early riser, but I had clients that were in demand and they were early risers, they were executive CEOs, and they had to get out of the gym by 6 a.m. at the latest, right? And so I had to accommodate. I had to meet them where they need to be met. So from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., typically Monday through Friday. No one's showing up for a 6 a.m. session on a Saturday, right? You're committed to do one of two things. One of two things. You're either training clients or guess what? Gaining clients. So if you say, well, Israel, you know, I only have five clients to start with. Or Israel, I have zero clients and I'm doing this virtually. It doesn't matter. It's the same amount of work ethic behind it from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., you're either training clients or gaining clients. Most of this can be through a free orientation. If you don't have someone in front of you in an orientation, let's say you're a virtual trainer, a virtual coach, guess what that hour is used for? Getting an orientation in front of you, right? So that's, it's a mindset shift. I'm either training someone at that time, I'm conducting a free orientation, right? Or I'm doing the work that's going to be needed to get a free orientation or a client in at that time from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then guess what? From 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., there's some specific things that you need to be working on. It can be um, program designs, client record. These are the things that you're going to need to pour back into your existing clientele, right? So that it's not just a tunnel, it's a funnel, because if you just acquire clients, acquire clients, but you never do the things to nurture, right? And pour into those clients, right? Then guess what? They're not going to stay, right? And so now your funnel has become a tunnel. You've got three clients coming in and three clients going out. You're not growing your business, okay? The other thing that you need to be thinking about is specifically if you're in a gym environment, you'll see this multiple times. So if you're just starting your career, you may have to do this from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then again from 10 to 11 is prospecting and follow up. You've done so much work on social media. You've put so much work out there and working the floor, whatever your environment is to put yourself out there and market yourself. And hopefully you've done smart work in collecting information. That way you can follow up, right? And nurture those leads, nurture those relationships. So you're either prospecting and following up and you can basically do that every other day. So in the green here, you're going to see prospecting and follow-up. In the yellow here, you're going to see program design and client records, again, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is what the very best in the industry do, whether they realize it or not. This is how you structure your time and how you focus on the critical few things, right, to take you to the next level. There's a lot of things you can be working on to stay busy. The difference is from busy to productive, right, is a very, very different discipline. There's a lot of people that are very busy and just doing stuff, but they're not necessarily productive. And that's because they fail to discipline themselves and structure their time to do the most impactful things. And just so you know, 
these most impactful things, a lot of it's not the fun things to do. It's not just getting additional, you know, um, exercises and, and, and looking at fun things and creating video content and things like that. It's those things can be done, but I'm not going to let those things take the place of the most impactful things to build my business, train my clients effectively and retain those clients. The other thing you're going to see here is a big break in the afternoon work plus rest equals success. Work plus rest equals success. Success, And so if you sprint really hard in the morning, you should be able to take the afternoon off, right? Um, for a few hours, right? And get stuff like your laundry done. Don't be showing up to session with dirty draws, right? Get stuff done like, uh, you know, journaling, planning, organizing, whatever you need to do to decompress, right? Read, um, work out, right? Live the brand right? Those kind of things need to be done in the afternoon. Even take a freaking nap, whatever you need to do to, re to recover, recharge, regenerate, because this can be a thankless job. It's a very emotional draining job. So if you don't take time to recharge, right? Intermittently, right? It's going to be really hard for you to give a hundred percent, especially if you're working that split shift, right? Which many times we're, we're going to need to be doing because again, we work when other people don't. Okay. So now comes the afternoon shift, right? That three to four, guess what you're doing again? You're either doing prospecting, following up, or on those alternate days, right? You're doing a combination of, you know, uh, client folders, records, program designs, things like that. But again, that's off peak time. That's time that most of your clients are still in the gym. So it's administrative work, but it's work that builds your business, right? Abraham Lincoln says, I think if you give me four hours to chop down a tree, I'm going to take three hours sharpening the saw right? Or sharpening the ax. And so what is that saying? A lot of time behind the scenes to be a really impactful trainer is preparation because preparation plus opportunity equals success. Then what are you going to see from 4 PM to 8 PM? That's right. Monday through Thursday, right? I'm either training clients or gaining clients, training clients or gaining clients in some way. So team, there's a ton of focus on getting more clients, getting more clients, but there's an equally amount of focus, especially if you have your business built where you want it in keeping those clients, but it's the specific actions and habits that you're doing, right? Consistently, not one week on one week off consistently. That'll be the difference in the good and the great and the good can make 40 to 50 to $60,000 a year. And that may be fine for you, but it's not six figure trainer mentality. If you want to be a six figure trainer, you think, act, and operate very different than every other person in your space. You're going to outwork, out hustle, out uh, uh, focus on your intelligence, right? Um, so you're going to out educate all of those things than every other person because you're taking it to the next level, right? Um, the other thing you're going to see is either a Saturday or Sunday in there, right? So if you're not someone that likes to work weekends, go work at a bank, right? Personal trainers, we work when other people don't. We serve the need, right? It's supply and demand, baby. And so you've got to dig deep, get out of your comfort zone because growth doesn't happen with comfort. And you're going to have to figure out how to stretch yourself in these areas. This template alone, I can tell you, has helped myself and many other trainers that I have coached, right? And developed, right? To be six figure trainers, that next level. And you can do it today, just like you could do it 10 years ago. It's the way that you think, it's the way that you discipline yourself and your ability to not overthink it. Well, maybe I could do it this way versus that way. Take the blueprint, right? Run the play, dig deep, right? And give it your all. And you can be that six figure trainer, but it won't start without disciplining your time because your time is everything. And so hopefully this helps you and your success. I'd love to hear how this is helping you and your success, getting you more clients, helping your clients to, to see better results and helping you to make more money, more impact and influence in this industry because we need it more than ever. So Israel Allen, PTA Global, hope this helps you find your success.